In this lecture, we will cover the features Sweep Boss and Sweep Cut. We will use those to create the following model. You can get this drawing from the download section. Before we start modeling, let's explain what we mean by Sweep Boss and Sweep Cut. Starting with Sweep Boss. Sweep Boss is basically adding materials by sweeping a shape through a designated path. To apply Sweep Boss, we would need to make two sketches, usually in different planes. This is a little bit different than the other features we used so far. With the Sweep Boss, you can go from the two sketches on the left to the 3D model on the right. Sweep Cut is the opposite of Sweep Boss. Here we are removing materials by sweeping a shape through a designated path. Similar to Sweep Boss, we would need two different sketches to apply this feature. With Sweep Cut, we can go from the two sketches on the left to producing the object on the right. So let's go ahead and start creating our model. When creating this model, we're going to follow the following plan. We will start by applying the Sweep Boss feature, and then we're going to cut that hole using the Sweep Cut feature. So let's go ahead and start with the Sweep Boss feature. As we explained earlier, to apply this feature, we need two sketches. One represent the profile and the other represent the path. So let's start with drawing the path. We're going to the front plane and then I'm going to draw two lines, one line here, and one line here, and then I'm going to draw an arc between them. this and then I'm going to start applying relations. I want this arc to be tangent to this line and I also want it to be tangent to the other line and I want the end of the arc to be merged with the end of this line and the other end to be merged with the other line. This dimension here is 12 inches and the radius here is 4 inches. Our sketch is still underdefined. We need to restrain this line so I want this end of the line to be in a vertical relation with this other end so I'm going to apply a vertical relation. We have just finished the path of our sweep, which represent our first sketch. So we're going to exit the sketch, and then we need our second sketch to be uh, perpendicular to this sketch here. So if we look at the planes, you see that we can only use the right plane for this. So I'm going to start a sketch on the right plane, and I will be drawing my profile, which is an ellipse. So here is an ellipse. The major axis is 4 inches. So 4 inches here. And then the minor axis is 2 inches. Our ellipse is still not fully defined we need to define the orientation. So I want the major axis to be in a horizontal position. And now we have fully defined our second sketch. So now I can exit the sketch mode and I can start applying the feature. So I'm going to the feature tab and select the sweep boss feature. If you click on this, you are going to get two options. One for the profile, the first one, and the second one 
is for the path. So we're going to select our profile, which is the ellipse. And then we're going to select our path, which is the first sketch we made. Now we get a preview of what our sweep would look like. This is what we want according to the drawing. So I'm going to click OK. And we have finished our first step in creating this model. Now we are going to start making the hole which goes through the curved object we just made. So we will first start by creating the profile this time. So I'm going to this surface here and I'm going to start a new sketch. Our profile this time is a circle. So I'm going to draw a circle. And this circle has a diameter of 1.5 inches. So I'm going to dimension that to 1.5 inches. And our profile is now fully defined. So we are going to exit the sketch. Now we want this profile to cut through the same path we created for the base shape. So instead of creating a new path, we can just reuse the same one. So if I go to the features and I go to sweep cut this time, I click on it. And then in the profile, I can select the circle we just made. And in the path, I can select the other sketch, but it's not here. So if you notice here in the canvas, there is another design tree that you can expand. And then you can go to the first sweep, expand on that. And then you go to the second sketch, which represents the path and select it. Now you see the preview. We are cutting a circle through the same path. If we click OK, you see we have just finished producing our final model. If you want to make sure we have done the cut correctly, you can go to the top and select section view. We want the section view to the front plane, which is already set. Click OK. And now through the section view, you can see the hole which we created using the cut sweep feature.